You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for another infant toddler toy. This one is a play school one, and it's a matching puzzle game. It's handheld, so you can carry it around. And look at the age on this one. It's from uh, 1990, and the item is 165, I believe. So we're talking an old toy. And I like showing these. I just like the principles and the basic play. That's basically what we're showing you here. It's just the play. And for us, um, it's adding it to our video archive of toy history. And the more toys we document like this, um, the better it is, I think, for future generations of kids. So think about that. So what you're doing now is you're looking for a picture, and I just happen to end up this way, that matches. So you're going to put the boy fishing to the big fish. Now... As you can see, it's a jack-in-the-box, so you've got to find the jack-in-the-box and get it in that spot. I don't think it's ever trying to complete them all, because it would be very difficult, because the chick now needs to be, where is the chick? Over here. So to get him there, you know, maybe there is a way to do it, but I think it's more just finding the match, like... The apple tree with apples and the apple tree without. Let me just show you the rest of the pictures here. Here's what we have. And then I'll go one by one. So we have the apple, which would go with the apple. We have the mouse and cheese, which would go with him. We have the cat with the yarn and then the ball of yarn. The chick, like the question mark space. The rabbit in the hat. The apple tree. The jack in the box. And again, the fishy, little kid fishing. So let's just see. I think I got most of them here. So the apple. I think it would be really difficult to try to work this puzzle for an infant to get them all ending on the proper spaces. Is it, is it, is it possible? It would be really difficult. You would have to mastermind a plan. to try to make this work. Well, I got the top two anyway. Got to get the boy out of there it would be really difficult, but maybe there is a way to do it. So, I always like to ask on these older toys, did you have this as a kid? Was this a toy that you played with? You know, going all the way back to 1990, so it's got some really cool age to it. Play school, and of course like that little handle to carry it around. And they're easy to slide. See? Easy to move. Pretty neat little toy, I think. I like learning about toys, seeing what they do, and then just having the experience of playing it. So again, leave it in the comments if you had it. If you want to see more toys and you like just looking at little kids' toys, infant toys, and learning about them, then look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.